What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl. So today's video is going to be another lace wig. Okay. So I like to change up my looks, or basically I just like to change up my looks. So today we are going to do this 360, 200% density lace wig. Okay, a lot of the 200 densities don't really look like they're like um, a lion's mane unless you're getting like something kinky straight then girl You just best to stick with like 130 150 if it comes to kinky straight because you know that hair is already big You know what I'm saying like it's already big, but this one is really nice. It is pre-puffed and it is by China lace wig okay so I have had the pleasure of working with them on numerous occasions you know we like this I said we all like listen if I work with you more than like four times then we like this okay because I like you you like me we like this we cool we like a family you know it's it is what it is okay their ways have really improved over like the two years that I have been working with them like on and that is really a good thing because they just have really improved. Their packaging has improved. Their wigs have improved. It's nice to see when companies just improve. I mean, I guess you just got to improve with time. You know, like, you know, when you age, you got to just, you know, like, you know, when you age, you like fine wine. I guess it's the same thing with a business. You, you have no no choice but to improve or, or shut your business down. So anyway, they have improved. And I'm like, really, really like, you know, okay, that's what's up. Because don't nobody want no garbage lace wig, okay? No matter how cheap it is. So it's a natural color. So you know, natural dark brown. And it's a 360. So let me tell y'all, when I put it on my mannequin head, because you know, I, I wash them before I even wear them. Especially if it's curly. Because like, when you get them curly like this, like the curls don't really be like the natural curl. They're more or less like the factory curls. And so I want to see what it really looks like when you wash so the, the curls change and then it doesn't get all frizzy and nappy and dry looking but when I was putting it on a mannequin head I noticed like oh shooky dooky oh shooky dooky now this got some really nice baby hers okay really nice and then I was like oh dang the line the hairline is like pre plucked okay so I was like really impressed with that plus the cap construction was just really really nice I didn't even sew no last elastic band in it they don't send an elastic band with their units but listen girls take your butts to Walmart because you can get like a whole yard or two for like 67 cents to a dollar serious you can get those anywhere so it does have the three combs in the front it has the comb and the nape in the uh, the comb and the adjustable straps in the nape I was like really impressed with the baby here it's like okay like a girl gonna really slick these down all right Mm. So this one is 22 inches in length, 200% density. So we're going to get into this video. I'm going to cut it up. Well, I'm going to cut the lace off real quick. And then I'm going to put it on. We're going to style it. We're going to see how it do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is because I didn't bleach the knots or anything like that. I just really don't be into all of that. I did come through with my facial powder, which is this one right here. This is my MAC. It's the NC42. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to just take a brush. And I'm just going to rub that in the inner portion of the cap just so it can look, you know, a little bit more scalpish. And I did notice even on the sides, it's like pre-plucked, which is great. Like, so if you want to really glue it down, you can. So I use this and this works just the same and it doesn't get crusty or cruddy on me. So, you know, to each his own, I have this one and I also have this one. So, you know, to each his own. So let's get All right, guys. So let's get this started. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put on my wig cap. This is my stocking cap to give me a more kind of like flesh toned scalpage look. And I'm going to go ahead and use my wig grip band. You have to make sure to place these a little bit further back because if you don't, I've noticed that your wig does not sit entirely flat in the front. It's kind of like lumped up. So I always make sure to push it towards the back unless I'm wearing like one of my custom units. But definitely for like a glueless or lace frontal. So did you see the parting in this unit? It's very, very noticeable and I like that. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to take some mousse. Some styling mousse I'm just going to put that on those baby hairs because I want them to get nice and just like wet so that way I don't have to use too much hair gel or too much of my gorilla snot gel on them but also I'm going to go ahead and cut them because they were a little bit too big for my liking or excuse me a little bit too long for my liking the pre tweeze or pre plucked hairline on this unit is good I do like that a lot now we're going to go into my Gorilla Snot Gel. I do love Gorilla Snot Gel. It works good for me. Um, it doesn't get any type of white residue as would got to be glue or got to be gel. Now I do have got to be but I don't really use that much because the black and yellow tube 
just get like this white crusty kind of like residue and I'm really not into that so I just like to use the Gorilla Snot because it's just less work dries just as fast holds just as well no white residue so as you see I'm going ahead and just swooping me down some of the baby hairs now keep in mind I did have some of my own natural baby hairs out first and I should have went ahead and not did that but you know what I'm so used to doing it that's just like a force of nature so let's get into styling this unit it's very very full and curly as you guys can see but I do like the color it's dark very very dark and I do like that kind of goes well with the outfit that I'm wearing and I'm just going to put some more of this lot of body styling wrap mousse on it because I'm trying to kind of like tame the hair moisturize it a little bit kind of like be able to style it but for the most part the curls are really deep the hair is very like a very low luster um, and it does get pretty big the more you finger comb it so I think I would have done more or less like a 150 density because this is a lot of hair so I'm going to go ahead and part this unit because I'm going to do a style of my own in it and the lace parting in this is just really great for it to be a 360 it has some really really great parting in it as you guys can see and it looks very natural and honestly I really didn't need to put any concealer in it but you know what when you get in the habit of doing things it's just a habit and it's just like a force of nature so it's just giving me more or less like the bohemian look like I do like it really wild because it just gives me a different look and I love it but keep in mind it is 200% density and because the hair does get really big my preference would have been at least 150 and yeah I do like it though so let's get into styling this so as you guys can see the parting on the sides as well is just amazing it just looks so natural the ventilation of this unit is great I'm very impressed China Lace Wig has really stepped it up quite a few notches um, for when I first started working with them their lace units have improved so well like really I'm very very impressed and you know I will say definitely check them out and give them a try because they have very affordable units so we're gonna go ahead and put this in kind of like a high ponytail kind of like thing right here and I'm just going to take one of those scrunchy ties and just give myself one of those punked out looks so this is what you can do with the glueless lace wig lace front wig 360 wigs whatever you can do a lot of different things I don't put it all up in a ponytail especially because this hair is pretty thick so I wouldn't even dare to try but yeah for the other styles it's very great it's very it works really well so I'm just going to twist it and kind of like give me a high bun in the on the top of my head and yeah very pretty hair, very thick. Like I said, I wouldn't put this all up in a high bun, but for the most part, it's cute and it's very natural looking and it's big. And especially if you love big hair, guys. Right, you guys. So there it is. So I decided to just put it in like a little bun on the top. Now, you see, I use Gorilla Snot Gel um, to adhere my wig. So it's not moving. It's not going anywhere, which is perfect. I normally will use this one. Um, it doesn't really matter to me which one I use. Um, this one is just like, they, have their, they do have different smells. This one is a little bit more runnier, but they both dry really good, and they both do hold really well. But if I was to say to choose, I would definitely choose the yellow bottle by all means. Definitely choose the yellow bottle. Um, but the red bottle, I just wanted to try it out. And so far, you know, I like it, but I still always like to use yellow bottle. So for the hair, it's a little dry to me. Um, so that is the reason why I was putting some of this on it. Because when you start picking the curls out, to me, it gets a little bit frizzy and, like, drier. So it's probably because of the texture is more or less like a deep, curly kind of you know unit so it's not really silky straight like you would expect it to be or maybe you thought it was but it does get a little bit dry so it does get really big but okay. it is a lot of hair and let me tell y'all a girl is dying right now like I'm so hot in this wig like seriously so for those who like a lot of hair then this would be for you but you can definitely choose like the different densities you don't have to go with a 200 density but this is like that wild child like Shaka Khan hair like for real like for those natural girls who love it like and normally I don't have this many baby hairs because I don't really like so many baby hairs but for the most part like I said it does have a good fit so I mean I didn't even need no elastic it fits snug um, I just think that the hair was a little bit dry, but that's the texture. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, and I do like them like this, but if I had to choose, I probably wouldn't have so much of it. You know what I'm saying? So China Lace Wigs. Definitely check them out because they have upped it up a, quite a few notches with their quality of hair, which I'm really impressed with. And I'm pretty sure this, um, black... 
Friday because I just lost my frame. I thought just that fast. They probably will have, definitely will probably have a sale going on. I think all of the websites do, especially for hair for Black Friday. So make sure you check them out. You might want to um, save some money or whatever, but definitely give them a look. They have all new packaging and their quality of hair has really, really changed. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions about the Gorilla Snatch Gel, you can definitely leave me a message below and I'll definitely hit you back. So I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up because you love me. And I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in a soon-to-come video.